A California Republican convention usually gets little, if any, media coverage. But when the party faithful gathered in Burlingame recently, it got the attention of hordes of journalists and hundreds of protesters. This country is about diversity, it's about racial justice, it is not about white supremacy, and it is not about hating Muslims. Rabia Keeble and most of the demonstrators are here to protest Donald Trump's message. He's the keynote speaker at today's lunch. This is my Donald Trump pinata. When people ask me what's inside it, I say it's empty. State party conventions are meant to rally its most active members and set the tone for upcoming elections. What do you mean? But the GOP has been struggling to line up behind its apparent nominee. So here's the Washington Post today. The time has come to admit that Republican voters want Donald Trump as their nominee. You see that? But not everyone agrees. After protesters forced him to take a detour around cement barriers and through the mud to get inside, Trump joked about illegal immigration. That was not the easiest entrance I've ever made. <laughs> My wife called. She said, there are helicopters following you, and we did, and then we went under a fence and through a fence, and oh, boy, I felt like I was crossing the border, actually. You know? It's true. The New York businessman has knocked out over a dozen other presidential contenders, defying the rules of politics along the way. Folks, I'm a conservative, but at this point, who cares? We got to straighten out the country. That kind of ideological flexibility troubles some conservatives, including party activist John Fleischman. He worries Trump isn't really conservative and will say anything to win. It's why he keeps changing positions. I misspoke. I did this. I did that. Well, you know, it's me. I'm, I'm, the, I'm Donald Trump. I make big deals. Well, you know what? The presidency isn't about making big deals. It's about standing strong and making sure that our Constitution is respected and our republic endures. Trump wasn't the first choice of the party elite and mainstream members, but he's striking a chord with many rank-and-file voters. Well, I'm a woman, and I support him. I think that his rhetoric will change once he gets to the national nomination. Bobby McGinnis, a Republican delegate from Santa Barbara, says Trump will rebuild America. Yes, he has not been perfect about everything he's had to say, but I feel that women in the end want someone who's going to give security and bring back America and bring jobs back. The Republicans who showed up for this convention are already enthused about the GOP and the June primary. The challenge for Republicans is spreading that enthusiasm to voters who've been turned off by policies that the Republican Party has espoused over the last few years. That includes women, Latinos, Asians, and immigrants generally. Today, just 28 percent of California voters call themselves Republican, compared with 44 percent who say they're Democrats. Few expect Trump to carry California in November, but party strategists like Rob Stutzman worry what effect he'll have on races down the ballot. About 20 percent of Republicans say they're not going to vote for him, okay? Well, that means we're worried about them voting at all. So when we think about competitive state assembly seats, state senate seats, and congressional seats, if we don't have a candidate that is fully turning out the Republican base and energize them to go vote for him, uh, we're very concerned we lose these seats. The California GOP has seen its numbers slowly dwindle for two decades. Many say it started with Proposition 187. The 1994 ballot measure took aim at immigrants who came to the state illegally. They keep coming. Two million illegal immigrants in California. Ads like this one alienated the Latino community. Condense it. Mike Madrid is a consultant to the party. I was hired uh, in the aftermath of Prop 187 in 1996 as a Latino Republican expert to kind of help the party rebuild. I will build a great, great wall. Today, Trump's statements about immigrants are stirring up old ghosts. Yeah. Mark my words. Yeah. In many ways, it's a little heartbreaking to look back 20 years later and come to the same convention where the same issues really have not only not resolved themselves, but in many ways gotten worse. He has enormous potential. I, Republican I, delegate Jaime Patino from the East Bay town of Union um, City would I, agree. I, I, I know Trump means well. I think he has some great ideas. He just doesn't express them very well. 
And uh, there are times I do cringe when I hear him speak. In particular, Patino cringes at Trump's description of Mexican immigrants as rapists and murderers. It looks like, like uh, Trump will become the nominee. Uh, if he is, I, I'll, uh, I'll back him, but I'm going to have to do some soul searching, to be honest with you. But there is Trump may also be a tough sell for millennial voters, says Matthew Del Carlo, head of the California Young Republican Federation. He says the state GOP hasn't done a good job of attracting voters under 40. There is kind of a branding issue. Uh, if you look at millennials, uh, you know, over 60 percent of them believe that uh, there should be marriage equality. A large portion of uh, younger uh, GOP uh, millennials also are in favor of legalizing marijuana. Uh, the positions also on global warming and other environmental effects, that generation is much more in touch with that and differs from the mainstream sediments of the party right now. Party leaders are mostly resigned to Trump heading the ticket in November, but many Republicans aren't happy with this unexpected turn of events. I don't think I could vote for Donald Trump in the general. I certainly will not vote for Hillary Clinton, <laughs> but I, I, I won't vote for a Democrat. Well, thank you all for being here. You While know, some I'm Republicans just... aren't sold on Trump, state Republican line. Party Chair Jim Brulte believes and the Democratic nominee will unify them. When this primary is over, I assure you the Republican Party will come together because there's no one in this room, and there are very few Republicans in California who want Hillary Clinton to have Barack Obama's third term as president. We're going to take back our jobs from China and Japan. Still, GOP leaders acknowledge they need to proactively rebuild the party's strength to once again be competitive you, in statewide elections. Remember June 7th. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.